Reactive oxygen species, or ROS, are produced physiologically. Defined as normal products of cellular respiration, they may also induce tissue damage. Exogenous factors also influence ROS production, such as smoking, pollution, mental stress, alcohol, obesity, as well as ultraviolet light, for instance due to sunlight exposure. In turn, this oxidative stress can contribute to various cardiovascular, neurodegenerative pathologies like Parkinson or Alzheimer, as well as metabolic diseases such as diabetes and some cancers. They also participate in a natural, often undesired, but inevitable biological process, namely aging. Helping patients face the situations of oxidative stress to fight against their consequences represents a major issue for all healthcare professionals. Among antioxidant strategies, glycerin is different from conventional oral antioxidants. It initiates a systemic whole body response, which so to speak prepares the organism for situations of oxidative stress. Thus, it can be prescribed inter alia to prevent oxidative stress due to sunlight exposure or physical stress, to eventually attenuate consequences for asthma, allergies and also of atherosclerosis. In my lab we demonstrated its efficacy in a randomized, placebo-controlled, double-blind study performed in healthy volunteers who were exposed to pure oxygen breathing under supra-atmospheric ambient pressures. This procedure is well known to produce oxidative stress, which then presents as DNA strand breaks and so-called lipid peroxidation. Two weeks of pretreatment with glycerin completely prevented the hyperoxia-related DNA damage and the biochemical markers of ROS-induced lipid peroxidation. SOD, which stands for superoxide dismutase, is an enzyme recognized as a frontline antioxidant defense. This is a naturally occurring enzyme in humans, but its activity declines with age. Glycidin is an extract from the cantaloupe melon, selected for its high SOD content, which gives it much greater preservative properties when compared to other types of melons. It has a shelf life three to four times that of conventional melons. The problem with this enzyme is that its activity is greatly retarded during the digestive process. Through the combination of SOD from cantaloupes with gliadin, a powerful, stable antioxidant, supplying one unit per milligram of SOD enzyme, activity was obtained. Gliadin is a wheat protein, selected for its film-forming and protective properties. Without gliadin, SOD is digested by enzymes. Its activity is reduced. The combination of SOD and gliadin helps to safeguard SOD during digestion. Its activity is preserved. This combination facilitates contact between SOD and intestinal cells, thereby promoting bioavailability and consequently the body's general response. While wheat protein causes allergic reaction in persons suffering from celiac disease, it is important to note that these patients represent fewer than 1% of the population. Furthermore, the daily recommended intake of gliadin from glycidin doses is equivalent to 0.033 grams, or 150 times less than a slice of bread, which contains 5.4 grams. Glycidin takes a different approach from conventional antioxidants such as vitamins or carotenoids. In fact, instead of simply correcting a deficiency or focusing on a specific target, it works on the body's overall antioxidant status and cellular redox signaling. That is to say, the cell's adaptation to oxidative stress. In order to fully understand its action, let us take a brief look at oxidative stress and defense systems. Cells produce energy in the mitochondrial respiratory chain, a series of complexes responsible for ATP synthesis. However, this series of reactions also produces ROS, molecules that are very toxic to cells when they are produced in excessive quantities. Hence, oxygen is vital but also harmful. 
this is what might be referred to as the paradox of aerobic life. In fact, the respiratory chain directly reduces oxygen in water, or to a lesser extent, 4 to 5%, in a superoxide anion, a radical substance that is moderately reactive, but undergoes rapid dismutation in hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide can disperse in cytosol and result in hydroxyl, a very aggressive radical substance and the number one enemy of aging. Radical substances cause numerous forms of cellular damage. They attack the lipids in cell membranes, modify several types of structural and functional proteins, and damage genome and mitochondrial DNA. Mitochondrial damage can lead to malfunction in the production of actual ROS, which are responsible for oxidative stress and thus oxidative cell damage in general. In order to protect the body, cells are equipped with antioxidant defenses. A balance is therefore created between ROS production and ROS elimination. If the elimination systems are inadequate, the cell damage caused by ROS alters cellular function and is therefore responsible for cellular aging and several diseases referred to as oxidative, such as cancer and diabetes. Oxidative defenses can be enzymatic or non-enzymatic. Non-enzymatic antioxidants supplied through diet include primarily vitamin C, vitamin E, carotenoids, trace elements such as zinc and selenium, and polyphenols. These act on a specific target by capturing ROS through a physical quenching phenomenon or by disrupting membrane lipid peroxidation, for example. The most effective antioxidant enzymes are superoxide dismutase, catalase, and glutathione peroxidase. SOD catalyzes superoxide anion dismutation in oxygen and in hydrogen peroxide. Catalase catalyzes the conversion of H2O2 into O2 and H2O. Glutathione peroxidase and selenoproteins combat the formation of peroxidized lipids. The position of SOD at the top of the antioxidant pyramid makes it a leading antioxidant. Falling below this antioxidant and the enzyme systems making it up, glutathione peroxidase and catalase, referred to as primary, are the other antioxidants known as secondary. The use of glycidin brings about a general response in the body. Not only is SOD enzyme activity increased, but GPX and catalase activity also apparently increases. As a result, instead of specifically targeting a radical substance, as is done by carotenoids for example, glycidin activates the endogenous antioxidant defenses by mimicking the general response to oxidative attack. Glycidin also distinguishes itself from the other antioxidants by its ability to reduce inflammatory response. Production of TNF-alpha, a pro-inflammatory agent, is reduced, while production of interleukin-10, an anti-inflammatory interleukin, is increased. In a more specific context, where glycidin is used to counteract the formation of fibrosarcomas in mice, the recruitment of inflammatory cells in newly formed tumorous tissue is also reduced in the presence of glycidin. Generally speaking, Glycidin protects cell components, DNA, proteins, lipids, from oxidative stress, and in so doing, helps the body to combat such stress induced by environmental factors such as age, UV rays, tobacco use, stress, alcohol, and pollution. It can also be prescribed for the prevention of age-related decline in SOD activity and to counteract aging, as well as to enable cells subjected to stress, such as sun exposure. It is important to note that the oral route enables the optimum dose to be delivered to the body, compared with topical antioxidant administration, which, owing to the skin barrier, makes it difficult to control the dose administered or its effectiveness. Given the number of pathologies due to free radicals, glycidin may be useful for numerous applications shown in this table.